Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are checking out, oh my god guys, I'm kind of scared, but um, Ryan Shazia, Shazier injury. I briefly saw that he had a back injury, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be able to watch it, guys. Um, so I've got two videos to choose from here. It's only three minutes, 38 seconds. I'm very nervous, guys. I don't do well with videos like this. Not only because I know that they're hurt, but just that mental toll. Just that excruciating feeling of not being able to play again. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into it, guys, without any further ado. I'm very, as you can tell, I'm very nervous to watch this. Let's see how I hold... Up, hunty. He has been supplanted right, as their lead I'm back very, by the rookie very, Joe very, Mixon, who's very, looking on from the sideline right now. Nervous. My heart is about to be broken. I already can feel it. On second and five, plenty of time for Dalton. We're short of the first down on oh my the God. by the rookie. Josh Malone, fourth round pick out of Tennessee. And Ryan Shazier, the leader of this Pittsburgh yeah. defense, is not getting up. It's a shallow cross. You're going to see Shazier. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to actually keep my eyes open for this one. Break on the ball. and went in there with his head down and that's never a good thing oh his neck my heart is beating guys Ryan my heart is beating really will hard. step aside no score early Shazier. in the first quarter back in Cincinnati as you can see Ryan Shazier still on the field they've brought a board onto the field to carry oh, him off oh my gosh and not to be an alarmist John but I don't think anybody has seen his legs move at all since the hit. He immediately grabbed for his middle of his back, was able to roll over onto his back, but his oh, legs you poor thing. really have not moved oh. from that position since he's been on the ground. A lot of concern and prayers right now for Ryan Shazier, who's such a great player and one of the great Pittsburgh Steelers. That's just an awful moment all a around to visit with him yesterday. when someone gets injured. Very likeable, like, intelligent young man out of Ohio State. Just an awful moment. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Medical personnel continuing to attend to Ryan Shazier, the leading tackler for the Pittsburgh Steelers. John, it's very, as we said at the top of the telecast, very physical and nasty rivalry. But that was just a man trying to make a tackle who unfortunately wasn't well positioned to make the tackle. And it's really been the talk of the league. You know, you never go in there with the crown of the helmet, try to keep the helmet out of tackling. And all you can do is hope and pray that. Ryan oh, Shazier just is awful, okay. isn't when it? He first rolled over under his back. You could see him squeezing his hand as if he was trying to see if he had feeling in his arm and hand. Everyone knew this was really bad. Like, really bad, I. Eh? We spoke with Ben Roethlisberger about this rivalry, Andy Dalton. Oh my God, guys, my heart. <laughs> like... well. He talked about how intense oh. this AFC North is. He said when they played the Baltimore Ravens, they anticipate oh, mouth physical football, but there's a respect. When you hit somebody hard, generally oh, they help each other up. Oh, so absolutely. This Cincinnati rivalry has gone a little bit off the edge, and he said last night, I worry oh, about my players gosh. getting injured. He's on both scared, sides I... when this game is played because sometimes it crosses the line. I don't think my gosh, I still don't know what, what happened. So we're gonna we're gonna have to check out another video talking about his injury. Hopefully this video explains what went on. I assume that 
people thought he was never going to be walking again. But I have the inkling that he did walk. But he did retire from the NFL. So obviously his body couldn't do what it used to. All right. Whew. We're going to check this one out now. Um, let's do it. All of a sudden, he says, look at what I found in my hands. Ryan is the leader of this team. He's a guy that brings that energy, that enthusiasm, that love, that passion. Way back when he first got drafted, he came in, he was like, yo, I'm going to be a gold jacket guy. I'm going to be the best linebacker that the world has ever seen. How was he playing through 12 games? I mean, he was awesome. Play action fake, big. He's going to be intercepted by Chase here. He took it away from the intended receiver. He was a lot for all pro, if you ask me. Until. Until he got hurt. Oh, he's upset. Oh, this is the night. December 4th. Monday Night Football, first quarter. On second and five, plenty of time. Yep, see, we're going to be watching it again, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What do you remember? Oh, my gosh. It was a solid hit. It made a nice pop. I was like, oh, that's a good hit, Ryan. Oh, look. So I got up to celebrate with him. He was just laying there, and I'm like, oh, this don't look good. I went out on the field to check oh. on him. As I got closer to him, I could see that he had tears in his eyes. You know, I was just like, little bro, you know, what's up? And uh, he was just like, you know, yo, I can't feel my legs. I just remember him getting carted off, and so then it just turns into questions. You don't know what's, oh. you know, what's next, what's going on, and it's just all on our minds. I don't think anybody on their team or ours was interested in really playing football. Um, no, how could you, player. right? Oh my I god! I wasn't really myself. I couldn't really. How adjust. could you? You're a human. Blowing calls. Cam Hayward came over at one point. Oh what my did he god! Say? He was like, "Yo, you got to come back to us because we can't lose two linebackers a day." The challenge for the players to compartmentalize what just happened to Shazier and get back on the field. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm not scared. It's been devastating, but at the same time, this is what I signed up to do. It's the fear that every player has that you never wanna think about. How do you deal with that? You know, it made me question it. Just asking myself, why do I do this? You know, why do you play football for this? Why do you put yourself at this risk? What are the answers? This provides me something, a feeling that I can't really fulfill any other way. I watched this dude paralyze himself for us to try to win a football game. How could I not go out and play as absolutely hard as I can? Shazier oh had spinal gosh. stabilization surgery two days after the injury. He started rehab in the hospital, and the long road to recovery began for Shazier and his teammates. What was it like the first time you went and saw him in the hospital? I see this bald head, I'll never forget this bald head and this big white <laughs> smile. And he reaches out oh, his hands to give me a hug. Serious? And it just was like, oh. wow. Like, and I told him this, I said, you don't know what you just did to me. And I feel selfish for feeling this way, but this huge weight just comes off my back. He's hurt, he's laying there, he's talking about, you know, he's gonna get better. He already has a plan laid out. I'm just yeah. like, bro, can you move your toes? This is just a testament to who he is as a person. He's got a toddler, and Ryan was telling me how he, he struggles to, to play with him. All he wants to do is be able to move around with him. His son just knows that, you know, daddy can't really play with him like that. It's just a challenge that he has to overcome. But it is heartbreaking, though, watching that. Shazir has received support from near and far. There's a get well card in downtown Pittsburgh that's been signed by fans from all over the world. Nice song. Do it for 50, man. 50 on three, one, two, three. Three. And the Steelers have clinched the AFC North. And when the Steelers won the division title, Shazier celebrated with them from his hospital bed. You say? Oh, yay, babe. Someone held the phone up. It was like, Ryan's on the phone. And, um, just, uh, it was like he was there with us. Yeah! <laughs> he's broke us down. You know, he's the one that says Steelers on three, and it's, 
it, it feels so good. Even through FaceTime, yes. it was powerful. Absolutely. Still is. It got scary, but hey, <laughs> we know how to pull it out, baby. Here we go, Steelers. Oh, my gosh. Wow. How can you guys best provide support for Ryan? Well, I think it's more than just me and these players. The city. Billboards have been up about Pray for Ryan, which is awesome. My wife um, and the other wives and girlfriends have really been huge in helping me with the family. What an explosion of love and outpour here for Ryan Shazier as he's wow. in the building. Look at him. Look at, yeah, look at his yeah, smile, right? It, it's and therapeutic for him uh, to get out of the hospital and get to be in this environment because this is what he's used to. You know, he's used right. to being around his brothers. It's the playoffs. What does it mean to have Ryan Shazier cheering for you guys? We want him to be there with us, whether he's physically there. He'll always be there in our hearts, in our, in our spirit, in our team. It's awesome to have someone to play for. Look at, look. Wow, that's inspirational. I guess I'm just gonna have to um, Google. Did he, like, what, what happened? Oh, wow. Um, he hasn't played, obviously. He can not only walk, but he can run. Oh my gosh. Wow, so he was paralyzed, fully paralyzed for a long time. He did rehab and stuff. Wow. You know what? I really love those stories where it starts out devastating and it still is devastating, but the person themselves and their mindset can turn it all around you know it's just the situation of like oh if you've got lemons you just make lemonade i love people like that it's so inspirational um but wow what an awful moment at the time right oh my goodness like especially when it's your back and he said i I can't feel my legs. Can you imagine how terrified you would be? Oh, I give them props, no matter what side of the team, no matter what team you're on, I give them props for continuing to play, right? That would have been one of the hardest games that I'd ever have to play. And that was, that happened in the first quarter. So can you imagine going through an entire game when you know that your teammate has just gone off the field and he's said that he can't feel his legs. You you don't want to be there, right? You don't want to play right now. Scary moment for sure, but I'm really, really glad to know that he's doing a whole lot better. And I don't know, I just feel like just seeing clips of him, you know what kind of person he is. And yeah, his smile, wow, it's a very infectious smile. But yeah, overall, I'm really glad to see that he's doing better. Oh, that, the first half of that video really, my heart was beating so fast, guys. Oh, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought down below. Oh my God, I'm still like, got that nervous feeling inside me. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.